Avia right here, we here. I'm Ryan and I'm joined by Anthony from High Vision. And Hello. we're here to look at your bonded encoders here at the Kit Plus show. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks for stopping by here at Kit Plus. We're here with our transmitter, our Pro 460 from High Vision. This unit was mostly used for summer events, which was fantastic. We're using our 5G networks here at uh, the Oval for it. Um, it's doing low latency um, transmitter over, over 5G, basically. And we're actually taking in the video and um, actually sending it up to the cloud to our receiver and then actually sending it back down again to our return video. So kind of um, workflow that you would see at things like news or sports events, that kind of thing. And of course, we're talking about sports and events and looking at bottling encoders. The big key here is always latency. So what sort of, from glass to glass, what sort of latency are we talking about your solution? Yeah, exactly. When we're using the, you know, the modern networks, 5G and whatnot, we're able to do a latency of 80 milliseconds glass to glass. So very, very low. Um, it's exactly what we, we we're known for in the industry, being able to push the boundaries on that kind of latency. It's, it's fantastic to, go, to now go down that low. Fantastic. And I say, I'm sure that's going to be utilizing the SRT and the SST technology there. But I'm guessing what a few of you is might not understand is that you guys actually uh, founded SRT as your own protocol. Yes, exactly. SRT is now around. Um, we High Vision developed it about 12 years ago. We open sourced it in 2017, which means it's perfect. Everyone in this room at uh, Kit Plus, a lot of them have SRT on their stand already. It's fantastic because we want to make the industry better. We want to make it more linked together to be able to send SRT from our transmitters or, or straight from cameras, but also now from the transmitters and equipment to things like YouTube. YouTube is now able to take SRT and we just want to make the industry better for that. Well, the thing is, it's a backbone of a broadcasting industry, SRT. But I say another thing I understand that's really caught my attention is You've got a mobile phone there, and you were talking to me before about some of the work you did at the Olympics, and actually have it using the bonded technology through an app, was it? Yes, exactly. We had over about 250 phones deployed for the Olympics. We, had, we were deployed on the opening ceremony, and also um, things like the sailing event down in uh, Marseille. Very, very interesting. In fact, um, the Olympics service, they actually won an award at the IBC for the work that they did on that. It was um, a fantastic to be able to be part of it and work with them on finding solutions for it. Um, it massive deployment. What was really interesting about the, the sailing was um, their boats are quite small, quite thing like that. If you were to show up with the big cameras, big PTZs, they would, I don't think they, they would go, no, it quite well, would it wouldn't it, work. Man. Whereas with it, if you showed up with a small little nimble camera like that, they did. We were able to deploy it and how much they shouted at each other. That's what I found really interesting. <laughs> and get out my way, I'm coming through. This is not, you know, um, so I think it definitely gave a new aspect to the games. Well, that's the thing, it's a completely different layer to the experience. I say that's the way technology is moving. It opens yeah. up the doors and makes that type of content possible. Exactly, and that's, that's what we want. Fantastic stuff. Well, thanks a lot, Anthony. It's been a pleasure speaking to you. Um, and I'll catch up with you, no doubt. Yeah. Very See soon. you soon. Cheers, thanks.